Hello everyone. I'm back today with a new tutorial. Today I'm going to discuss something about virtual hosting. So I have a blog about uh, how to create a virtual hosting Apache 2.4 and here I have described how you can create a virtual hosting here. All those commands here and then based on these commands I will create a video with specific video how you can create a virtual hosting in Apache and then I will uh, show the tips and tricks to do that efficiently so let's get started I have now connected uh, to the server using session manager if you don't know what is session manager in AWS or systems manager please check my other videos if you just uh, go to my channel and then uh, session manager or systems manager just go to my channel and then if you by the way if you haven't subscribed it please click the subscribe button so that I, I can see my next videos okay then uh, systems manager the systems manager explained and um, session manager connect easy to instance using session manager so you can use this video to connect your uh, instance using session manager okay now I have connected and then let's go and uh, create a virtual hosting so before that let's go to my article and copy this example here and then uh, open a notepad and paste the values here so basically this what this says it's a uh, configuration uh, for Apache it starts with this tag virtual host and then you put the server name here the server name is actually the domain or subdomain name in this case it will be uh, a subdomain this is the subdomain name psmedia.staging.go2.nl and then server alias there is no server alias here I comment this out because it's on a subdomain if something we have uh, for main domain like AWS with com, then I also do that for the uh, www version as well and then you create a server alias but as it is a subdomain you don't need to have server alias document root I just create a folder here PS media then um, everything server admin okay I give a server admin name then uh, error log directory this is I put PS media okay that's it everything is same what I'm going to do is to copy this file and then I'm going to open this file for editing mode so let's go sudo vi etc httpd conf.d slash vhost.conf okay there are some already existing settings here I'm going to add that at the bottom of all of those settings I have at the bottom and then just I paste the values here paste as a plain text that's it I just need to ensure that this directory exists for www.ps media so let's save this then uh, let's check CD for top 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 PS media sorry PS media what is the folder name PS media the folder doesn't exist so let me create a folder so do mkd for top 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 
is media. Okay, the folder created. We have created the virtual host configuration and then we are just going to reboot the Apache server. So the command is sudo service httpd restart. That's it. So I have restarted the server. I have created the virtual host. Let's go to that directory ctfr dot 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 ps media. There is nothing. Let's just create one file sudo vi info.php and let's type something php info okay and then what i'm going to do is to just copy this url paste it and then info.php that's it guys we have successfully set up a virtual host a separate virtual host and then we placed a file over there a PHP file which tells us what version it is and um, all other settings over there so I hope this helps you to get started with your um, virtual host setup it is a day-to-day -day job for a system administrator or a um, Linux admin to create those virtual job virtual hosts and point your domain to that particular directory and then uh, serve your project. This is a development project that we are working on and I just created this virtual host so that we can put our files using code commit and code deploy. So thank you for having uh, watching my tutorial and I have explained everything here. This is more details with uh, setting up those Apache and all those things. I already had set up Apache. I didn't need to set up once again. That's why this is not needed and um, the other things you can follow. So thank you for uh, watching my video. Have a nice day. Bye.